here we are. It's the entrance to St George's Park on Church Road. Again, this is Sunday the 13th of September 2009, about 6.20 in the evening. The reason why we're here is we're having a look at the plaque dedicated to the life of Bob Hope, actor and entertainer. It's located on the gates here because as a child he lived in this area for two years between the ages of three and five before his family took him to Cleveland, Ohio in the United States where he became more famous as an actor and entertainer. Everyone think of Bob Hope as the all-round American entertainer but they don't realize that he was born in Britain. He was born in London in fact, in Eltham. But his ancestry suggests that on his father's side the family came from the Western Supermare area. But more about that later. We're looking at a plaque that was unveiled to commemorate Bob Hope's connection with the area. And if we look at it closely, it's based very similarly on the famous Living Eastern plaques, which are an evolving development of the Bristol City Council Blue Series plaques. In this case, we're looking at a plaque in aluminium, which is about half a metre across. And if you look at it closely, you see the central image of Bob Hope in his heyday in the 1970s as an entertainer, but surrounding him are scenes and images that are just as familiar to those who are fans of Bob Hope. On the left hand side, the upper left, we have an image of Bob Hope with Dorothy Lamour in the centre and with Bing Crosby from one of the famous road series films from the 1940s to the early 1960s. Below that we have an image taken from the Pell Face where he starts with Jane Russell from the early 50s and there was a similar one called Son of Pell Face afterwards. On the right hand side, upper right, you'll see an image of these gates with Bob Hope as a young child playing with, one, playing with a hoop. And below that you have the famous profile of Bob Hope which was done by I think uh, an artist in the 1950s showing the ski slope nose. Around the plaque, like a coin, are the names of all those who have helped to sponsor this plaque. Starting from the top, Elizabeth Shaw, then the Red Flower Barrel, which is a local flower shop, which still exists, and I can see it from here. Bristol City Council, Barn Hill History Group, who also helped with other plaques, and the Fire Engine Pub, which is right behind us. And if you look below, there's a text panel. The legend says, at the top, Bob Hope, Born 1903, died 2003. So he reached the magic age of 100. And the legend says beneath that, Leslie Towns, Bob in brackets, Hope, lived for two years in Whitehall in St George, circa 1906 to 1908. The family left for the USA in 1908. There he entered the theater, appearing on Broadway in 1927 and radio in 1937. His Hollywood debut was the big broadcast of 1938, where his theme tune, Thanks for the Memory, first appeared. His films include seven road movies with Bing Crosby and Dorothy Lamour, which were made between 1940 and 1962. The films like The Road to Singapore and Road to Bali, and they're often repeated on television. And strangely enough, this afternoon they showed The Iron Petticoat, a film that Bob Hope made in England with Catherine Hatburn in the 1950s. And to carry on, it says The Pale Face 1948 with Jane Russell. Entertaining worldwide into his 80s, Bob Hope was famous for his five Special Academy Awards and his TV specials. He was awarded an honorary KBE, Knight of the British Empire, in 1998. And then it says, this plaque was designed by local artist Mike Baker and installed in 2004. Now this was very much a team effort and we wanted to show the little known connection that Bob Hope had with Bristol and particularly with this area because two plaques were put up 
on the two known sites where you have known to have lived as a child. One in Plummer's Hill and the other at 326 Whitehall Road, both of which still exist today. And I think Whitehall Road doesn't have a plaque, but the one in Plummer's Hill does. Now, going back to his childhood, his most famous recollection of his memory of his time in Bristol was in this park. Because as a child, he remembered, he disturbed the dog and other children threw a stone which hit him on the forehead and left a scar which was still there at the end of his life. So he always remembered that incident with St George's Park. But when he was in Britain, he would come to Bristol and visit family and friends and so on. So he was a regular visit to Bristol on his visits to Britain. Uh, finally, when we had the unveiling in 2004, which I think in this case was March, it was unveiled by Eddie Large, of Little and Large fame, to commemorate Bob Hope. And uh, it was attended by many people, including Bob Hope's cousin, who travelled out from Southampton during that day.